Uh, well, he's, we are going to list him as doubtful. He's been limited all week and um, was today also. So um, doubtful is a small chance. So we'll see on Sunday. So Brock Coyle then at that spot? Um, we got we got a number of choices, and we'll see then. Coach, now that you've had a full week to adjust from McKinnon's um, injury, have you decided what the plan is moving forward with Greta and um, Morse? Yeah, definitely. You know, we've known that. You know, since it happened, we've been working on it, and we'll see how the game goes with it. Said you wanted to watch Brita all week because this is his first week back. How did he look? Uh, He's looked good. You know, he came back fresh. He's been ready to go. He's ran the ball well. Um, I'm excited to see him on Sunday. What kind of progress has he made from rookie to now, and just the the pass catching aspect of? I think he's come a long way. You know, I think he struggled with that when he first got here. Um, he got a little bit better as the year went. Um, you know, but I thought he had a drastic improvement going into OTAs and training camp, and um, he's further along in that area than he was when he came here. Just looking throughout the league with an incoming class of rookies and all the movement in the offseason, it seems like more teams seem to have their answer at quarterback than, than maybe recent history. Do you notice that, and, and do you view this as sort of an exciting time for the league, looking at all those quarterbacks? Um, I mean, I haven't really thought about it, but, I, um, yeah, there's a lot of young good ones, um, you know, and they've done well over the, the last year, you know, especially with Wentz, who would have been a possibly MVP guy last year. And, you know, I know the young guy, with, you know, with Goff having the success he did, so there's a lot of good young ones out there, and there's a lot of good older ones too. So um, it's time for some good young ones to be coming up. What you learned about Fred Warner that you like so much that you put him in a position where you would be making the, the communication calls and all that stuff? Uh, just how he's been since he's gotten here. You know, on, on tape, he se- seemed like a very smart player. And, you know, we you know met him at the combine, brought him in here. And just the way he handled himself, it was pretty obvious um, that he's a very poised person. And since he's gotten here, you know, nothing's been too big for him. You know, you get around a lot of guys, you know, the, they, people can be very intelligent, but um, you can still get overwhelmed in the heat of battle and stuff. And um, Fred's been the same guy every day. Uh, nothing's too big, nothing's too small, and he's been very steady, and um, that's what's going to give him a chance to be successful. You've talked about those positions being interchangeable, but it, it would seem from maybe my perspective that Coyle might be the better fit at Mike just given his veteran <coughs> status and what you have Fred in there at Mike. Well, could you explain the reasoning why? Uh, yeah, you know, the main difference is all the communication and stuff you have to do. So there is a little bit more put on a rookie in terms of communication. Um, you know, but we felt Fred earned that spot. You know, we thought he played at a very high level throughout the practices and the games that he got in on. And, you know, so did Ruben last year. But, you know, we thought he was better at the other spot, not doing the communication. But Fred, it hasn't slowed down. He's been good with it. And um, so since he earned it physically and it didn't slow him down from a mental aspect, it was a pretty easy decision. How much has Ronald Blair's versatility played into him? I mean, he's, he's one of nine guys left from the previous yeah. regime. I got a lot of respect for Ronald. You know, he, first of all, he, pl- he plays at a high level. Um, he wins a lot, um, and he can play all the positions. So um, when you have that versatility on a D lineman, it's, um, it's, that's a guy that's very tough to replace. You know, he um, is mainly on the outside from his size and stuff, but when we put him on the inside, he's a tough enough and scrappy enough, he gets it done. So um, Ronnie allows us to, um, he can make plays on his own, and he helps us in a lot of situations depending on how the game can go throughout who you have up on game day. How has it been working with Alfred Morris again, given the familiarity you guys had from the past? Uh, it's been great. You no, know, anyone who knows Alf, Alf's as good of a person as there is. Um, you know, so he's great to be around. You know, he hasn't changed at all, and he never will, because um, that's who he is. So it's great. It's great to have him around, and as a person, and the fact that he's the same player um, makes it even that much better. Have you decided on a starter at right guard? Um, yeah, plan on person starting. Yesterday, Robert Sala said he seemed like Malcolm Smith would be a full goal percentage. Did he have a setback yesterday? No, he's just been limited each day. And um, as that stays, you know, if everyone, if he could take every single rep and go, then that's when we would know he's going. But the fact that he can't quite yet, and he's still got, you know, two more days, almost two more days to do it. So that's why we're not going to rule him out. Um, but he's not there yet. A couple more? What about uh, Gary Gilliam? Has he practiced? Yeah, he's good to go. Um, yeah, he's full go. Would, would he be the swing tackle? Um, yes. All right. Good. All right, guys. Thanks.